Hi everybody, my name's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be telling you about writing with tokens. You probably don't know what that means, but you'll find out. So first thing you'll need to do is gather a few supplies. You'll need something to write with, something to write on, and that can just be a scrap of paper. This is optional, but if you can find one around the house, an empty jar. And most importantly, you'll need a token, and we'll get into what that actually means and how to choose one. So what is a token? The definition of token is a thing serving as a visible or tangible representation of a fact, feeling, or quality. For this exercise, choose something that can fit in your hand. So think about anything you've kept as a keepsake or a souvenir, something that you treasure. A few examples of my own are my grandmother's watch, some shark's teeth that I collected as a kid that I've kept, or a heartfelt note that somebody wrote me. And if you don't have one, you can't think of anything around the house, you can go outside and find something. You can find an interesting rock. This is a shopping list that I once found on the ground and I kept it because it was so weird. You can find anything if you look around outside. Or if you can't think of anything, can't find anything outside, just open up a drawer and pull out whatever is in the corner. I went into one of my drawers and this luggage tag was in the corner. That totally works as a token. So now that you've completed step one, which was choosing a token, step two is to sit with the token for a minute. So first of all, feel it. Notice its weight in your hand, any textures it has. Secondly, notice it. Look at it as if you're seeing it for the first time and get curious about it. You might actually notice something that you didn't notice before. And third, just think about it. This thing has energy and takes up space in the world just like you. Step three is to start writing. Write whatever comes to mind and start anywhere. If you don't know where to begin, an easy place to start is to describe the token itself. There's a great quote by Pat Pattinson from the book Writing Better Lyrics that says, the more senses you incorporate into your writing, the better it breathes and dances. So just look at it. Notice the colors, write down the shape, the texture, the smell even. And another idea is you could write about its history. If you treasure it, why do you treasure it? Did somebody give it to you? And if not, did a stranger own it before you? Who might that have been? Did it come from nature? Was it from something bigger at some point? And if you don't know the answers, just make them up. We're just being creative and we're just writing. You don't have to actually know anything. So what might its journey have been from creation all the way to you? And another cool thing you could do that's out of the box is to write from the perspective of the token. So what would it say or write about itself if it could? And what would it want you to know? And what's the point of all this, of this whole thing? It's just to write. So just make a connection from an object to words. And there's no wrong way. You might end up writing a poem, a journal entry, a short story, or just free writing, and it doesn't matter. And it also doesn't matter if you end up writing about something entirely different than the token, because the point was just that it brought you there. You connected dots you got from point A to point B, and writing is all about making discoveries as you go. You're probably not going to end up in the same place that you started, and that's great. So now that you have your token and you have your piece of writing, the final step in this exercise, which is optional, is to jar it. So what you're going to do is take that jar that you found around the house, whether it's a pickle jar, a salsa jar like mine, or a burned out candle, and you're going to probably want to take off the label. If you put it under the sink with some warm water and soap, it's surprisingly easy to scrape off with the rough side of a sponge. So once you have your jar clean, you're going to take your piece of writing and fold it up. You can put the writing on the inside or the outside, whatever you prefer. And you're going to curl it so that it fits inside of your jar. Then you're going to take your token and you're going to place it 
inside and put on the lid. And now you have this that you can display as a reminder to yourself that inspiration for writing is all around you wherever you look.